So this is the uh, Midland made in Birmingham double barreled hammer shotgun. Length of pull is 14 and a half inches to the further trigger, 13 and a half to the second trigger, which is the left barrel. It uh, doesn't have any rattles when you open and close it. There's no lateral movement at all. It's really tight, opens smoothly, closes smoothly. The good thing about hammer guns is that you can walk around with it loaded. I mean, normally you'd carry it like that, wouldn't you? But when, with a hammer gun, you can put cartridges in it and carry it around quite safely. Uh, there's no safety catch, but you don't cock the hammers until you're ready to fire. The front one is right, the rear one is left. The first barrel is half choke, the second barrel is full choke, so for the second bird. Uh, the condition of the metal, uh, it's oiled, it's clean, there's no cracks, dents, marks on it. Frankly, if I was going to keep it, I would re-blue the barrel, but uh, you might want to keep it in this sort of state and just keep it oily um, because it looks kind of nice, it's got a great pattern on it. The action itself, not in, not heavily engraved, but there's a bit of work on it and it's beautiful. You'll see the wood to metal fit all the way around and on both sides is excellent. The same for the underneath and the same for this part here, the fit's good. As you can see, no shake, no rattle. Even if I open it up, you can see, well, I can, <laughs> there's absolutely no movement on the action of this one. Um, the woodwork itself, it's walnut, it's oiled, there's no cracks. It's in good nick. It's got a, a few dents on it, but I've never run an iron over it. That would probably have removed them. Buck plate. Bakelite, probably. It's ancient. This was owned by my stepfather, who was from that part of the world, so I think he had it probably from new. In terms of taking it apart, um, simple pull release on this part. And this is again smooth, clean, no cracks on the wood, wood to metal fit is good, bluing's intact, serial number is 21625, 21625, and then to break the thing down even further it just slump, comes off like this, now you can see the, see the breech face, no rust marks, all in good neck, all nice and shiny too. In terms of the barrels, let's see if we can get a view down there. There's a few marks in there from age, but it's not rusty, marked, whatever. Uh, I'm ex-army, my stepfather was navy, so we know how to clean a gun. And I think it's probably because of that it's in quite good condition. <laughs> um, only selling because I'm moving to France and the gun laws over there means I can only take two guns. And I've got a load of them, so I'm taking a couple of rifles with me and this therefore has to go. Uh, I'll miss it, it's a great gun, 32 inch barrel, so hell of a long reach. My stepfather used to shoot things way, way, way further out than I ever thought was possible with a 12, but uh, that's what he did. The proof marks on the underneath, just as a reminder, two and three quarter inch, nitro proof, 12 ball, two and three quarter, one and a quarter ounce rated, two and three quarter uh, length cartridge, 12 ball. And it should just slide straight back together like this. There we go, beautiful. Smooth as silk, 12 ball Midland.